Hello, I'm Taylor. My pronouns are they, theirs, and them. We are properly meeting Taylor Mason for the first time, and their brain power is about to blow our mind. But is it realistic? And could we achieve the same results in real life with financial technology? You have two minutes. To answer, I get the help of an expert. Mark from Example, an alternative data insight startup. After your dispute with Krakow, I presumed roiling antipathy. So I cataloged all of his public statements going back two years. Taylor is Googling Krakow stock holdings. Let's test it by using a real life hedge fund manager. A simple Google search gives me Steve Cohen's main positions and how they evolve. We can say it's very realistic and easy. Krakow's tone on China changed, more bullish. The spreadsheet lists and categorizes the different media appearances. It looks like they do it manually and have to listen to every interview. It's kind of realistic, but it would take ages and you could easily miss out important information. We can use financial technology to do it faster and better. We're taking advantage of these vast quantities of data and computing power which is now available, and also taking advantage of things like the, the machine learning, natural language processing, which are getting better and better. Natural language processing or NLP could allow to track Krakow's message with much greater efficiency. Which led me to think? Satellite images. Alternative data can be, for example, satellite data, which is not necessarily an easy to digest number. So what? All the big funds are using satellite images. Bobby is not impressed. You found out which satellite company Krakow uses. AR metrics. Taylor manages to find out what company Krakow is using and what images he's been looking. A microchip factory in the Pearl River Delta. This is pure fantasy, but could we get to the same result? Alternative data could actually be used for a microplay on a specific company. The fundamental guys will often be focused on 10 or 15 companies, which they know like the back of their hand. I think we could select a few of the portfolio companies that are related to China, then figure out where their industrial sites are located, then potentially find corresponding data sets, although they may not be available. Chinese factory went from totally dormant to bustling with trucking activity. Which meant foreign investment followed. You may think this company looks good, but tell me what really happened. What LinkedIn data might tell you is that a lot of people have been leaving recently and actually that they've been going to the competitor. An article came out on satellite detected discrepancies between Chinese sites and what had been reported by government statistics. Mark mentions LinkedIn, but we could potentially do the same with satellite data on our Chinese factories. It's pushing it, but not impossible. To that, they knew they were being watched, so the truck started moving. A show for the satellites. It won't be a visual treat in terms of zooming in on, on satellite images of Chinese mountain. It's, it's functionality, I'm afraid, over HBO. Okay, fair enough. It won't look like that, but still I would put some points in the doable column. We won't get the actual pictures, we'll get a data set. And what is the next move? Sure. I uh... asked Taylor. Subscribe to Fintech Rama to stay ahead with analyses and educational videos every week. Thanks for watching.